Sonus faber is a Latin expression that means artisan of sound. Sonus faber speakers are well known for their elegant looks and their excellent sound quality. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a writer here at Crutchfield, and today we're going to talk about Sonus Faber's Lumina series speakers. Sonus Faber is an Italian company that chooses the materials for their speakers very carefully to get that signature look and sound. Typically, we like to talk about how speakers sound, but I have to admit that the first time I used a pair of these Lumina 3 speakers, I was very struck by the way they looked. There are some touches on these speakers that you just won't see anywhere else. There's a multi-ply wood baffle on the front, and the entire cabinet is wrapped in sumptuous leather. There are five different speakers in the Lumina series. There are two bookshelves, two tower speakers, and a center channel, so you can build a complete surround sound system out of Lumina speakers. Using Roman numerals, the bookshelves are named 1 and 2, and then the tower speakers are 3 and 4. The same materials are used for the drivers throughout the range. There are paper and fiber cone woofers, and then a proprietary tweeter called DAD, which stands for Damped Apex Dome, and that's a silk-coated dome tweeter. The entire range has nominal 4 ohm impedance, so make sure that your amplifier can handle 4 ohm speakers. I was fortunate enough to get a chance to hook up a pair of Lumina 3 tower speakers with a Macintosh 252 integrated amplifier and a Project RPM5 turntable. Because the Macintosh is an all analog amplifier, we did think that a turntable would be the best way to listen to music, so I was able to bring in a lot of albums out of my personal collection. They ranged from John Coltrane albums, some uh, Icelandic classical music, uh, also had De La Soul. Uh, I pretty much ran the gamut. Also included some reggae. We really wanted to give these speakers a chance to show what they can do with many different types of music. It's also worth noting that with any speakers, you want to give them a little time to break in before you give them a full evaluation of how they sound. L uh, let music play through them for uh, an extended period of time, uh, several days, uh, and then see if they've loosened up and become a little warmer. In this case, we did get a chance uh, to listen to these speakers for an extended period of time, and they handled everything beautifully. Uh, they are very accurate. Uh, they give a very nice, precise, warm, large soundstage, and I especially enjoyed listening to the John Coltrane album that I brought in. It's called Olay, and it has uh, you know, one of his kind of classic groups with a bass player all the way up to Eric Dolphy playing flute. That gave me a really wide frequency range to evaluate these speakers with and they performed flawlessly. Another thing I like to do when I'm listening to speakers is of course I love to play them loud but really great speakers maintain their integrity even when you're listening to them at low volume and that's something that these Lumina speakers did a phenomenal job of. I can say that my fellow Crutchfield employees were pretty excited to hear that these speakers are being demoed as well. I know that several of them stopped by with their own records and their own sources to listen to music on these Sonus Faber speakers, and they all came away impressed. And I'm going to sound like a broken record here, but I really can't get over just how wonderful these things look and how accurate and warm their sound is. Uh, they're really excellent for just about any type of music that you could want to listen to, and they are a statement piece when you put them in your living room. So if you'd like to learn more about Sonus Faber speakers or get a little help assembling your own home stereo system, don't hesitate to contact us here at Crutchfield. Thanks for watching.